G'day guys, with this video we're going to show that exchange rates can actually be determined by forces of supply and demand, like so many other things we've seen in economics, and we'll show how the curves can actually be shifted. So we can draw up supply and demand curves for the exchange rate. Now, the exchange rate would be expressed as we've always seen it, as sort of the foreign currency over the domestic currency. It's an indirect quote. So recall that I said in a previous video that you can view this as being the value of the domestic currency in terms of the foreign currency. It's how much you can purchase of foreign currency using the domestic currency. So we've got value of the domestic currency on the y-axis and quantity of the domestic currency on the x-axis. So it's a usual sort of price quantity kind of thing. The supply curve should be upward sloping because as the domestic currency becomes more valuable, in other words, meaning that it is capable of buying more, Australians should be trying to buy more with it which in effect means they are offering to sell more of the domestic currency, so to speak. So they are offering more of the domestic currency by trying to exchange more of it. So supply is going up. And demand, on the other hand, would be going down as the domestic currency becomes more valuable in terms of what it can buy in the foreign market. Conversely, this means that the foreign currency can get less from the domestic economy, so people in the foreign economy would be